Right, welcome back everyone, and now we're at Isle of Scale. This is going to be a self assassin suit only Faber Wire you're on there. So this strat is coming from Chavs. Now, uh, he originally came up with this route uh, back when I was doing the Sasso race many moons ago. Uh, really cool strat. Uh, other people have sort of jumped on it to perfect it, and this is actually become the route well oh, oh well this is a variation of the route that become the world record for this category but yeah uh all of the credit goes to chavs and uh i want to throw some credit towards courts as well because he helped me out with a few snags that made this run a lot more consistent so we're going to be starting that chapel bring the krugmeyer fiber wire uh, we're also going to be using the uh remote emetic gas bomb in the stash point in the chapel, we're going to want a scrambler, and that's pretty much all we're going to need. So, enough talking about it, let's dive in. So, immediately get out of the cutscene when we start. Uh, this is a race against time. We need to get upstairs and get to Sophia as fast as we can before she leaves the room we're going to get her in. Make sure you got your weapon equipped there. I'm just going to crouch run so these guards don't see us. And we're just going to make our way up through at the other side. And as I come up here, I'm going to do a distraction shot for this guy so he doesn't turn and see us. What's going on? So we're going to go into the chapel part. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our stash. Next, we're going to take care of the cameras. Make sure we're going to take the scrambler out because you will end up forgetting if you don't. Now, we're just going to edge our way through here. We're just going to slow walk through. Some of these parts are a bit inconsistent because you can get seen. We're just going to put that there, we're going to emit it both of them, and then we're going to drop the briefcase right there. Next we've got to get straight up to the top as fast as we can. Now as you see, like what, what we should be seeing is Sophia moving as we just get to the top, which there is about the latest you can do. We're going to need the scrambler to get into that room as well. Too inconsistent using any other method, so I've just decided to just stick with the scrambler. This level of encryption We're going to move here to get a peekaboo. Whoever sent you this message, Luke. Huh? Crouch there. And she will stop seeing you. It's a nice little blind spot that Chavs had found while routing this. So straight in for the far boy you kill. One target down. Nice work, 47. Next up, Zoe Washington. So as you can see, she's seen the briefcase down there. So we're just going to keep going along. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for the bodyguard to pick up the briefcase and stand back up. We're going to do a distraction shot in the corner. That's going to bring her back while the guard moves inside. After we drop, duck in. We're going to do a distraction shot there to move that woman. Straight in for the far boy kill right now. Both targets down. Impressive work, 47. And now, to confront the constant. Hey, oh God, Mr. Gray, please, what's your status? And that's pretty much it. Like I said, there is some inconsistencies. Uh, Sophia can leave too early. Uh, Zoe might not give the briefcase to a bodyguard. But as long as you're up there at a good time, it normally seems to work consistent enough. But yeah, like I say, big shout out to Chavs and uh, thanks to Coates as well for helping out with this run. Uh, moving on to New York. I will see you all there. Have a good one. Shabba!